Welcome back YouTube. Um, we got the boat primer for today. It is raining outside. Um, still okay to, to paint. I'm in a, in a shed, not my shed. I'm at my mate's house, uh, Scotty. He managed me, uh, managed for me to use his shed to do the painting. Um, as you can hear, the rain is just starting to set in. So that's not going to affect me today. Uh, so yeah, today's episode will be doing the primer of the boat. I was going to get my painter mate to do it, but he's too busy. So I don't want to uh, impact his work life. And I uh, thought I'll, I'll give it a crack and do it myself. So hopefully you get anything out of this video. And I will show you bit by bit. Thank you. Stay tuned. Okay, just show you another quick video. Of the Voyager laying on its guts. Before it gets its first coat of primer. Give her a good wipe down with the, um, the water. And then I'll grab the wax and grease remover. <clears throat> I won't do the inside, I'll just do the outside right now. And then the first coat will give me all the little imperfections. And I'll get a pencil and I'll mark them all. And I'll get the bog. And just bog them, give them a sand. Second coat. Recheck if there's anything else I need to do. <clears throat> and then, uh, when I did get the boat in, a bit of a scratch here. There's a brick wall. It was pretty tight, so um, I'll fix that up. So I've um, just waxed and grease removed pretty much the whole outside. I'm not gonna do the inside first. Um, I'm gonna put now the, the first coat of primer. First coat of primer will show me all the little imperfections. Um, and then once it dries, I can always circle it with a little pencil or a, or, or a yeah, pencil, don't use pen and um so say if there's a bit there that i needed to bog so that's just a bit of silicon there so that's fine that's for my bell rail what's going around but yeah anything what i can't see with the eye now it should be able to show me up in the primer so yeah i'll do the first coat Alrighty, so we're gonna have 500 mil of the primer just trying to see my mark it's actually a white base primer look at that so we're gonna go 500. And now we need 125 of the hardener, which is your part B. So there should be 125 on that. There. And then we go in with that. So this is a two pack paint. I'm using Norglass. Um, yeah, it's a primer undercoat ship shape, it's called. So it's three parts by volume, two pack epoxy. So just give this a really good mix. And now I need to let this sit for 10 minutes before I spray it. So what I'll do is I'll let it sit for eight minutes and then I'll pop it into the gun it gives me two minutes just to get the gun going. And then once the gun is set, I'll do my first coat. Oh yeah, just give this a nice good mix. You've got to make sure that hardener, you'll, st you'll still see some of the streaks going in there. It's, it's, got, to be, it's got to be completely mixed. Bring that bottom, bottom paint up to the top. It is always best to have like some sort of a drill, but yeah, this will just make a mess. So just, just, keep, just keep doing this for a couple of minutes. I love it. Hey, Scotty. <laughs> Fuck yeah.
So as you can see, this is the first coat. I've only done the first coat on the sides, not inside and not underneath. And up there as well. Um, I've ran out of paint. But uh, this just goes to show the quality of what the first coat of the primer can do. It will show you all little imperfections which I will fog. Um, there's a couple of little pinholes there. The second coat of primer should close it. That me being OCD, I'll probably bog it myself. Bit here, not these holes, but just around here. I'll get rid of them. Um, just at the back here, near the transom is. There was a lot of spider webbing. It's covered it up as most. But second, normally second coat of primer should should make that disappear. But knowing me, I might just give that a bit of a rub back and and a bit of a bob. Um, same thing as well, just here. Shows all the little imperfections. I'll spend a good hour or so going around and and making them better. Oh, it's good, eh? <laughs> now it's gonna come up good. Yeah. And um, you see, first coat's pretty glossy, and that's not even the top coat. I'm pretty excited. Check on the screen for like that. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> All right. This is Scotty. He's given me the opportunity to paint the boat in his workshop. He's uh, done his boat restoration as well, which I'll show you in the next couple of minutes. And um, he's watching me do this for the first time. And um, yeah, I think you think. Get inspired. Yeah, inspired. Yeah. It's, an, it's another YouTube how to do. Yeah. Video. Paint boats and drink beer. It's That's it. Cool. <laughs> All right, I'll show you. It's Scotty's Beast. It's. Uh, no. Huntress. Huntress? Penguin Huntress. It's Penguin Huntress. He bought it and gutted it. He put a new transom on the back. A new uh, a new floor. He's painted it himself. But the boat has had a hammering because he takes it out every day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, he's redone everything and can't really get in there because it's quite tight at the moment. It's raining. So, But uh, hopefully tomorrow I can show you a bit more. I'll pull it out for you. Yeah, he'll, he'll pull it out for us. I'm back day two, got um, exciting news, the paint is dry, that's good. So I've just been around a couple of hours this morning, bogging all those little imperfections and I'll show you how it looks. They're all dry, literally it's just small little bits that I found. This is the beauty of our primer. There wasn't much up there, there's only a little bit here.
first coat all the way around, inside um, of the cap. Um, I can't do the second coat due to the body filler not um, hard enough and I don't want to sand it when it's tacky, it just makes more of a mess. So I'm going to let that sit. Um, so probably in the next day or so, I'll just give it a sand and then then give it a good wipe down again and then I'll <clears throat> then I'll uh, do that second coat. So I'll just show you around the boat now. Don't worry about that middle bit there. So that's where it's going to be a hatch, so I only paint it around. 